Day leading up to the Tokyo Games will feature a Northwest Olympic hopeful. At Foss High School, Marcus Chambers won four state track titles and two Junior Olympic Championships. Now, this Tacoma native has Olympic dreams and is hopeful he can represent the U.S. this summer in Japan. U.S. sprinter Marcus Chambers is one of the fastest men in America. This is the room right here. At the University of Oregon, Chambers was a seven-time All-American and a four-time Pac-12 champ. His best event, the 400-meter dash. The goal, yeah. Olympic champ. The Olympic champion, not just make the Olympics, but be a gold medalist at the Olympics, or be a medalist. That, that, that's the dream, that's the dream that I had as a kid. Chambers grew up in the hilltop neighborhood of Tacoma with his parents, his brother, and his three sisters. I got a good son, knew from the beginning, like when he was, when he was hey, that big, hi. that you know, that I knew I had an athlete on my hands. Michael and Debbie watched Marcus excel in football and basketball, but it was on the track where he started to take off. So he liked all sports, but just the way they treated him in track, and then in, he had a track coach named Pat, which came along and encouraged him, and there was just support, and here he went. It's okay, it's good, well man. worth it because it's I got him, good. so it's good. Pat Boyd was Marcus's track coach at Foss High. His level of determination and the way that he wants to prepare himself, it's, it's phenomenal. I've never seen that before, ever. And I've coached a lot of kids throughout my career, but for him, he was somebody special. Marcus and Pat are still close, but right now, former NFL receiver and track star Eric Metcalf has taken over the coaching duties. When you have a 400 athlete, that, that means you know you have someone who is willing to work because there's so much pain and hurt that they're gonna have to go through in order to, to be good at it. Chambers pushes hard every day in preparation for the Olympic trials in Eugene. At the end of the day, I could go run the fastest time in the world a week before, but if I don't do it in those three days, I won't make the team. So I'm grinding, I'm doing all the little things to make sure I'm ready, and then I'm gonna go get it. 